the Mercury, a world of hellish heat, brutal cold, extremely rarefied atmosphere, and huge craters. The tiny planet was studied extensively in the past centuries by stargazers from Assyria, ancient Greece, Egypt, and China, as well as Indian and Arab astronomers. Galileo Galilei first spotted Mercury in a telescope in the 17th century while looking at the phases of Venus. Many scientists continued to observe the object. Pierre Gassendi, Giovanni Zuppi, John Bevis, and Johann Schroeder. Research is ongoing. Only now, near Mercury, are Earth spacecrafts orbiting, gathering information, literally, in bits and pieces. And yet, it is currently the least studied planet in the solar system. Why? Let's try to figure it out. Cabo. The first in outer space. Sending a spacecraft to Mercury is too difficult a task. So, only two probes have visited it, Mariner 10 and Messenger. There is currently no uncrewed spacecraft on Earth capable of flying directly to the planet without using multi-level gravity-assisted maneuvers. To enter a high elliptical orbit, the probe must decelerate abruptly, and to approach the Mercurian surface, it must, on the contrary, accelerate. Velocity transformations require fuel streams, so in the history of astronautics, no more spacecraft could be sent to the vicinity of Mercury, but those that have visited the planet's orbit have sent back to Earth a lot of photos and data to help us understand this strange world. Mariner 10 launched to Mercury in 1973. Interestingly, it is the last spacecraft in the program. The others were renamed as Voyagers. In March 1974, a 500-kilogram probe, equipped with solar panels, made its initial flyby near the tiny planet. The closest approach to Mercury was about 320 kilometers. In total, the spacecraft made a revolution around celestial body three times. Despite its brief visit, the probe transmitted a lot of images to Earth. They have been used to map 40% of the planet's surface. Mankind saw the 135-kilometer crater Boccaccio with a tall spire inside. It examined a chaotic geological area of unknown origin thought to be the result of seismic activity, as well as the amazing Conan crater Hesiod and Discovery Roops. Mariner 10's findings revealed that Mercury experiences more craterization than even the Moon. In addition to the deep wounds inflicted by asteroids, the planet is covered with cliffs two kilometers high. The probe revealed a virtual absence of atmosphere, represented only by a haze of helium. Mercurian temperature readings transmitted to Earth by the 20th century spacecraft differ significantly from current data. Previous amplitude was from 180 degrees Celsius during the day to 183 degrees at night. Modern evidence suggests that during the day, Mercury experiences scorching temperatures reaching up to 500 degrees Celsius, while at night the frost reaches 190. This means that the tiny planet has the most significant temperature changes in the entire solar system. Next was MESSENGER, a probe sent by NASA in 2004. 
the spacecraft reached its destination in March 2011. It was more seriously equipped than its predecessor. Designers tried to protect the probe from solar activity 11 times stronger than in Earth orbit. The 1,000-kilogram spacecraft was wrapped in a multi-layer thermal insulation material and covered with a sunscreen. A special system of collectors was used to dissipate excessive heat. The space probe was packed full of heterogeneous research equipment. Cameras for topographic and detailed surveying, spectrometers measuring gamma-ray, X-rays, and high-energy particle readings. An altitude meter and magnetometer are integrated into the probe body. On a January evening in 2008, after exhausting maneuvers and turns, the messenger probe flew close to Mercury for the first time, but only on March 18, 2011, because of the difficulties described above, the space probe entered a highly elliptical orbit. It took 6.5 years to do so. Amazingly, but the vehicles sent to Pluto flew only three years. The probe's mission is to stay near the planet's surface for two Mercurian days. This means that the messenger should fly near the celestial body for just under a year. During the first flyby in 2008, the device sent valuable images back to Earth. For the first time, a side of the planet, previously unseen by anyone, has been photographed. During the mission period up to the crash of Messenger in 2015, more than 227,000 images of Mercury were taken. In 2010, the probe made a family portrait of the planets of the solar system. This is a kind of challenge launched by Voyager in 1990. Also, Messenger recorded the largest Mercurian crater with a diameter of 1,350 kilometers and an age of 3.9 billion years, the Plane of Heat. 11 years after the launch from Cape Canaveral, Messenger, having used up all the fuel and having more than fulfilled its mission, crashed on Mercury near the Janicek Crater. The moment of the fall, unfortunately, was not recorded because this side of the planet is not viewed from Earth. But the main question that becomes before the initiators of such expeditions is the possibility of colonizing the planet, whether this goal is achievable. At the moment, the planet is lifeless. There is speculation that Mercury has water ice. Where did it come from? From comets that periodically visit the celestial body. The vapor travels across the surface and settles at the bottom of polar craters that have never seen sunlight. Leaving aside the difficult journey to Mercury, the same methods would be attempted to develop it as for the Moon. The presence of valuable resources and significant reserves of solar energy, substantial gravity, and a voluminous core make the planet a possible outpost for Earthlings of the future, at least at the level of orbital stations. We live in an age of rapid flight of progress and daily discoveries. 
That's why the Hubble Channel can be considered one of the many mouthpieces of the age. If you think so too, click like. If not, write. We are always happy to communicate with thinking people and appreciate any opinion. The main thing to remember is that the more likes you give, the more interested in science you are, the more likely the universe may one day reward you.